सर आज जिस मूवी का रिव्यू हम देखने वाले हैं उसका नाम है सोल्जर बॉय अच्छा अच्छा यानी कि सैनिक लड़का अच्छा अच्छा ये बहुत ही शानदार फिल्म है और वर्ल्ड वॉर टू के एक इंसिडेंट पे बेस्ड है ये एक विश्व युद्ध द्वितीय के एक इंसिडेंट पर बेस्ड मूवी है ये अच्छा अच्छा आप इसे देखिए उसके बाद अपनी प्रतिक्रिया क्या आवाज कर रहा साहब क्या आवाज कर रहा साहब जंग और देशभक्ति ये ये फिल्में देखने में तो हमेशा से मजा आता है और जैसा करके बड़े चाव से फिल्म देखते हो आप ये जो दिखा रहे हो ना बड़े चाव से देखो दिखाइए सब लगाइए हाय वेलकम टू प्राइम रीकैप आफ्टर हैविंग हिज फैमिली एनाइलेटेड अ 6 ईयर ओल्ड बॉय इज रेस्क्यूड बाय अ सोल्जर एंड बिगिन्स हिज जर्नी एज रशिया का यंगेस्ट हीरो टुडे वी विल रीकैप द स्टोरी ऑफ द 2019 मूवी कॉल्ड सोल्जर बॉय वी आर इन द 1940स इन द मिडस्ट ऑफ वर्ल्ड वॉर 2 Seryozha Alishkov is hanging from a tree trunk contemplating nature while his mother washes some clothes on the banks of a river. His older brother Petya is fishing for dinner when suddenly a plane appears and starts shooting at them. The woman asks the boys to hide, but Seryozha bravely uses his powerful slingshot to blow up the airship and defeat the enemy. However, when he turns around to speak to his mother and brother, they are both gone. At this time, the boy is awakened by the sound of someone knocking on the door. He rushes to attend to her, believing the person outside to be his mother. However, he is surprised by the arrival of his aunt Anisia. The woman is scared and asks the boy to pack his things to leave. Anisia informs oh, him that the boy's know, mother and brother were killed, and if the soldiers found out that Seryozha was his sister's son, they would kill him too. Her plan was to take the boy and save his her son, but before they can escape, German soldiers invade the house. The woman helps Seryozha escape through the window. The boy runs into the forest in terror and tries to find a place to hide. Deep down, he still believed his mother would find him. A few hours have passed and Seryozha has to find a way to survive on his own. While drinking water on the banks of the river, the boy is surprised by the arrival of some soldiers. Traumatized by what had happened, he soon looks for a place to hide. For a few minutes, Seriosa sneaks between the roots of a large tree, but something unexpected happens. A snake appears beside him. The little one is scared to death, but even so, he forces himself to remain silent. For him, no fear is greater than that of suffering the same fate as his family members. Meanwhile, the soldiers build a fire and take the opportunity to rest. After eating, they put out the fire and leave. At that moment, Seryozha finally manages to get away from that tenebrous serpent. Hungry, the boy picks up one of the cans left by the men, hoping to find scraps of food. A few days have passed and the boy is so weak that he can barely walk. He finds some small fruits on the way, but soon the place is bombed and Seryozha has to flee. That afternoon, it starts to rain. However, the boy is exhausted and without strength to go out in search of shelter. A few hours later, he is found by two Russian soldiers who take him to the camp. There, Seryozha, the commander, who immediately requests the help of his men to feed and care for the boy. From that day forward, the boy is called by his new nickname, Sergey. A few hours have passed and the soldiers try to distract their minds by talking about their family members before starting a new battle. However, when they least expect it, they are surprised by a bomb. In the infirmary, Sergey has his injuries tended to by nurse Katya. Due to the attack, new wounded arrive at the scene and the woman rushes to tend to them all. Even weak and injured, Sergey doesn't shut up for a minute and shows enthusiasm to learn more about being a soldier. Little by little, the boy will fit in and win the hearts of everyone around him. Katya is called by one of the soldiers. And when she arrives outside the tent, she finds a goat. Everyone wonders how the animal ended up in a place like that, but they are happy because in the following day, they drink milk and eat cheese, something extremely rare in the reality in which they were living. At that time, Kuznetsov and his companions appear. The man immediately goes to check on Sergey and is relieved to see that the boy is slowly recovering. The boy says that he received an injection with a huge needle, which caused him a lot of pain. He admits that at first he wanted to run away, but due to his courage, he decided to stay. Finally, Sergey asks to see the commander's pistol and, after unloading the weapon, the man hands it over to him. The young boy asks about the signature on the side of the weapon and Kuznetsov reveals that it is a special weapon, which was given to him by General Ostrov. Sergey gets even more excited and starts simulating the uh-huh, uh-huh, At right. this point, the man takes the pistol from the boy's hands and puts it back, for he is still too young to develop a taste for that sort of thing. Contrary to all the commander's expectations, Sergey shows oh, off the battle oh, tank oh, he designed oh, on his belly. He then asks Kuznetsov if he owns a plane. But Upon discovering that the man yeah. has never owned an airship, Sergey decides to draw one on the band that wraps his oh, oh, oh. When the commander leaves the tent, Katya works up the courage to go talk to him about the boy. 
The nurse asks the man to let the boy stay with them, and Kuznetsov immediately denies the request. He claims that a child does not belong there and says he will take him to an orphanage. Later, some soldiers go to visit Sergei and the young man is excited to use binoculars for the first time. As they leave, Rezo appears and the boy runs into his arms. The man hands the boy a candy. Like the rest of the camp, Rezo is building strong bonds with him. During the night, Katya talks to her fellow nurse and tells her that she can't sleep anymore because, since Sergei arrived, she can't stop thinking about him. The woman claims that the moment she saw him for the first time, something inside her changed, like a maternal instinct. Katya reveals that, although she doesn't want the boy to be in the middle of the war, but in a safe environment, her biggest fear is that the commander will send him somewhere else, because then she could never find him again. The next morning, Igor goes to talk to Kuznetsov. The soldier tries to convince him to leave the boy at the camp, as the soldiers have become attached to him. After all, when they looked at Sergei, they felt their hearts warm, since it is for the children's future that these men were fighting. However, the commander once again states that there is no place for children in that war camp. Kuznetsov admits he's also attached to the boy, but he needed to do what's best for him. Finally, the commander says that he has already signed the papers for the orphanage, so his men should start getting used to the idea of not having the young man around anymore. A few hours later, during an attack, Kuznetsov orders his soldiers to bomb the enemies while he goes to the battlefield to help Katya, who was carrying out the rescue of a wounded man. When the battle comes to an end, they return to the camp and the orphanage's director is there to take Sergei. The man waits in the car no, while they say no, goodbye no, yeah. to the boy, but Katya is extremely sad and decides to leave without saying goodbye. Kuznetsov no, asks Sergei no, yeah, to sit yeah, next no. to him and tries to explain to him what will happen from then on. However, before he could say anything, the boy starts crying and hugs him. He says he was waiting for the commander and was afraid he wouldn't be able to see him again. At that time, the man hands him a weapon carved in wood and asks if the boy would like to be his son. The two embrace and Kuznetsov rips up the orphanage documents he had already signed. Now, the next challenge is finding clothes that fit Sergei. The newest member of the army needed a uniform his size, so Igor sets aside some old pieces for the clothier to make new clothes for the boy. Soon after, Katya appears with the smallest boots she could get. After a few tweaks from the shoemaker, they would be perfect for Sergei. The next morning, Kuznetsov goes to the boy's room to wake him up. The man says that like a real soldier, he would have to get dressed in 45 seconds. Then he hands him his new uniform. The boy is extremely happy and wants to get ready, but first asks why he has a sticker stuck to the face of Kuznetsov, his new father, and the man claims that, due to an oversight, he cut himself while shaving. To count the 45 seconds, the commander lights a match and says that Sergei must be ready before the wood burns completely. A few match sticks later, they exit the tent and Sergei is excited oh, to show off his new uniform yeah, to his teammates. Yeah, oh. At that time, a surprise attack happens oh, and the commander yeah. runs to protect his son. He orders one of his men to take oh, the child to the shelter while everyone takes cover in the trenches. Oh, During yeah. the bombing, some soldiers are injured and the boy goes to the infirmary to help take care of them. He offers them some water and is willing to help with whatever else is needed. One of the men who had his eyes bandaged asks Sergei to read the letter sent by his However, the boy could not read and begins to invent good news to give the poor soldier. Bombs kept falling outside, so to calm his comrades, Sergei offers to sing for them. Everyone gets emotional, after all, that was a moment of great tension and, even so, the child was able to give relief and even hope in the hearts of those sick men. After those dark hours, Sergei takes a nap on Katya's lap. His father, the commander, arrives soon after and sits next to the woman. Kuznetsov claims he needs to tell her something, but Sergei wakes up and messes up the whole scheme. As the camp is being rebuilt, two soldiers spot Sergei shaving and decide to make fun of him, asking if the boy was getting ready for a date. However, the boy claims to be a soldier and, according to him, soldiers do not go on dates. He later introduces himself to the commander to find out what his task for the day will be. Kuznetsov questions why there was a bandage on the boy's face, and Sergei claims that, as a result of an oversight, he cut himself while shaving. After hearing this, he asks his son to go get the letters from the truck that was about to arrive and distribute them to the soldiers. The men start dancing with happiness when they receive the letters from their relatives and this makes the boy start to like his work even more. At the end of the task, Sergei decides to use his camouflage suit to sneak around the camp. As he peers through his binoculars, the boy spots a pair of boots trying to fit in a hiding place. Immediately, he runs back to the camp and calls some of his companions to go get the intruder who was hiding in the haystack. Andre and his men go there to check what was going on and end up encountering two soldiers from the enemy army. After exchanging a few shots, they manage to capture those men and Sergei returns to camp. 
Meanwhile, Commander Kuznetsov learns from one of his men that his son helped capture two spies. The man is surprised and is proud of the boy's bravery and modesty. Then Sergei appears in his room and the man gives him great news. And from that day forward, they would officially be a family. Sergei is overjoyed and calls his father to go tell the news to Katya. The boy says he saw the woman crying once, when Kuznetsov was wounded in battle. The commander is disconcerted to hear that, but still decides to accompany Sergei. <laughs> Katya is washing herself on the banks of the river when a soldier sneaks up and takes her coat. Then the man calls out to her and hands her a bouquet of flowers that he picked himself. The woman is clearly uncomfortable with the situation <laughs> and tries to get her coat back. At that time, Sergei and his father appear. Kuznetsov soon identifies the situation and pulls the boy back. The commander tries to disguise while watching intently. However, Sergei manages to free himself from his arms and runs towards Katya. Then he calls out for his father, but the man, embarrassed, has already left. A few days later, during yet another battle, the boy walks through the trenches looking oh, for Igor. Oh, 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 oh. After receiving the ammunition, the soldier asks the boy to go to the underground shelter. Sergei refuses to abandon his comrades, but Igor manages to convince him that this is an order and a good soldier must follow the orders Lord of his superiors. Buddy, yeah, Lord, Still, yeah. the young man decides to help. He overhears his father and his companions talking about a failed connection. A wire had snapped and some men were sent to fix it. He decides to go after them and crawls on the ground in order to avoid it. When he finds an injured soldier, he tries to help and asks what to do to fix the wire. Sergei follows the instructions for joining the two ends. By doing so, the connection returns and the commander is able to call for reinforcements. This heroic act of the boy possibly saved hundreds of lives. After the battle, Sergei starts coming up with a new plan. His next mission is to bring Katya and her father together as he has already realized that they have an interest in each other. For this, the boy runs to the nurse and says that the commander is sick. Then he takes the woman running to his room. Upon arriving there, she finds Kuznetsov lying on the table and wakes him up in despair. In the meantime, Sergei was already hiding, watching everything from the outside. As Katya tries to examine him, the commander wakes up startled and claims he is not sick. The nurse explains what happened, and in that instant, Kuznetsov understands his son's plan. He tries to gather the strength to declare himself, but the woman is extremely well, embarrassed tell, yeah. and leaves. However, he couldn't let this chance pass, so he goes after her. Meanwhile, Sergei climbs a tree and uses his binoculars to observe the camp. At that time, he spots some rescue dogs arriving at the scene and runs there to receive them. A few minutes later, yeah, really, the yeah. boy asks permission to go for a walk with them and climbs onto a wheeled stretcher while the animals pull him. The problem begins when, oh, on the oh, way, the dogs oh, spot oh, a cat yeah, really. and start chasing it. If they kept like that, that, they would soon hit a minefield and the boy's life would be in danger. Realizing this, Rezo gets on a motorcycle and yeah, 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 yeah. to stop the dogs before it's too late. Seeing that Sergei was unharmed from that situation, the soldier is extremely relieved. In the forest, Kuznetsov kept trying to talk to Katya, but when he finally manages to reach her, he can't find the right words to express exactly what he wants to say. So, he decides to put Sergei in the story and claims that the boy loves the woman very much. He then asks if Katya would like to become the boy's mother. However, before the nurse can respond, a soldier appears and delivers a letter to the commander. On it was a message from the high command. The next day, the army prepares to leave. A few hours later, they stop to rest at the house of some peasants. After eating, they discover that a German bomb had fallen on that house and was still there. The projectile went through the ceiling, pierced the floor, but luckily it didn't explode. The soldiers then decide to help them get rid of that thing, before any damage is done. They later continue their march and Sergei hitches a ride with Rezo and his father. Suddenly, the vehicle they were in explodes and the battalion finds it has ended up in a minefield. Sergei and everyone around are bewildered by the noise. A few meters ahead, the boy finds Rezo dead. When they finally manage to reach their destination, while his father talks to the general, Sergei asks what his next task will be. The man asks him to inspect the soldiers' uniforms and the boy enlists the help of an officer to carry out this task. After checking all the soldiers' boots and suits, he asks the man to write down the names of all those whose uniforms are damaged. After complying with what was ordered, the boy returns to the general's office to deliver the report. The guard insignia is in badge given to those who risk their lives to save the country. This means, of course, that Sergei will also receive this award. While celebrating his first award, a bomb is dropped and Kuznetsov is buried. The boy tries to get him out of there, but he doesn't have enough strength to lift the rubble. 
Later, after the bombing, with the help of his comrades, the commander is taken out of there and given medical care. Despite well, being badly injured, up. the man continues to recover and is soon ready to march with his companions again. The following year, in 1943, Sergei was decorated as the youngest soldier of World War II, finally receiving a medal of honor. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. Oh, <laughs> 